All right, y'all, back another video. We're back another reaction. So we're here with U.S. versus Oregon State Beavers. I don't know nobody on Oregon State, but USC got Bronny, Collier, dude, Boogie, that's Boogie Ellis, Dennis Rodman, son, anybody knows. Wayne Tingle said that game was lost in the paint on Thursday night. Pope Short will tie the offensive board. Goes over the second effort, blocked. Feeds it to Bilodeau. And he gets the roll. Changes up the defense, and USC really got to be able to recognize and come back and attack with their zone offense. Bilodeau, he can knock it down from deep. Again, this is an Oregon State team. Doesn't shoot the three ball particularly. Yeah, y'all still got to prove to me that Isaiah Collier is the number one pick in the draft. <laughs> like, I get it. Like, this draft class is not really exciting other than what, Bronny? But how is Isaiah Collier the number one pick in his draft? Let's go, Bronyan. Let's go, Bronyan. That's what we're here for. I don't really care about nobody else. You're here for you. Defensively, you have to go crazy. Now he's got the hand, now Look at him. That's definitely a, well, if that's if that's his dad. Oh yeah, they're gonna have to go to the, the review. A very skilled, talented basketball. They're gonna have to go to the tables. Ends of the floor. That's a good take, though. But yeah, man, y'all gotta prove to me that Collier's number one pick in the draft. I you thought it was Holland LeBron, but he go to, to the G League at night, which nobody watches. I'd be surprised if G League at night is still around in like three to five years. And I seen this post on IG this morning that if this is still around, it's going to be very shocking because nobody watches G League in general. So for them to have G League at night, ain't nobody going to watch that. Gosh, bro, that's an SUV. Did he just try to set a charge on the SUV? Well, you're not getting this. Look. Well, he just finna run you over. That's a Walrus player build. <laughs> Big Grizzly. Big Grizzly Bear. Well, you ain't getting that charge. But anyway. Yeah, man. I, I don't see G League at night lasting that much longer, though. Because nobody watches that. The only people that's watching that. It's draft heads and, and GMs and scouts. Other than that, ain't nobody watching. If anything, people is gonna watch March Madness. They could care less about like college in general. They just care about March Madness. Hey! That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. And understands the pressure of guarding a great shooter. Pope is a great shooter. And he's proved that last year. And look at his defense. He stays down. He doesn't go for the shot face. I need to scan something. That was not a Hold foul. on. And then the that wasn't a good angle. At the other end of the floor. So not only did he I need defend, to see a good angle at number zero space because he looked familiar. This backcourt for Oregon State has been stellar over the last couple of games. Pope dancing. Step back right in the face of DJ Rodman. Off the inbound for three. And bouncing off the heel. Okano creates space and drills another triple. Dexter Okano. Pope shake and bake. Whoa. Gains possession and able to throw it up and in. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you, you can't be jumping at this, bro. You gotta stay on your feet. He was lucky jumping. Wait. Y'all know why I'm reviewing this? Y'all probably don't even remember the VX, huh? It was him. Y'all remember them Jalen Green VX? He was in one of them videos getting took. It was him. So I knew that face from some. He was in them videos getting took by Jalen Green. Y'all probably wondering like, oh why don't why don't he get 
Why don't he get attacked in his comments like Jalen Green and them? Cause don't nobody care about them like that. They only care about Jalen Green cause he in the NBA, he's successful. But these other dudes, they don't care. Just like the Warriors, for example, right? You know how the Warriors blew a 3-1 lead in the finals, right? They say, oh, it's Curry's fault. It's Clay fault. It's Draymond fault. But ain't nobody gonna say Harrison Barnes. Ain't nobody gonna say Leandro Barbosa. And they don't care. I just wanna dunk on I just wanna dunk it. But, I'm saying that to say, right? You don't hear nobody talking about uh, the number zero dude right here. Or Namari. The Burnett dude. Because nobody cares. Why are you looking at these dudes like how they do Jalen Gray? Because he's the successful one. Just like the Warriors. Curry was the successful one in the 3 1 league. It's Curry's fault. Yeah, you're not, you're not stopping him, bro. It's too easy. That's an SUV. That's a, that's a Urus. That is a big body, a, a, a wide body. Yeah, y'all down by 30. Like, what's up with this score? Y'all down by 20. Did that say 20 turnovers? Dang, so y'all got just as many turnovers as y'all down. In the uh, score. Goes to work. Left hand. With the left. Counted and one. KC a backward. Oh, it's too easy, bro. Years, you know. <laughs> Only about years. 35 of them. <laughs> but you, you knew he was coming with the left because he couldn't get it off. He had to come back and go with the left hand up and over to his credit. You know, people will talk about, well, those teams were, weren't the level of Pac-12 competition. But this is true. But the situations are still the same. You still got to see the play and make the play, make the right decisions in those tough situations, going down the wire. The back way. Almost had taken away. Pope knifing through the defenders all the way to the cup. And that's a yeah, that's definitely him. Because his face looked familiar from their series in overtime. Yeah, that's him for sure. He was the one getting took in the beers. That's a feel. He was in one of them videos. It wasn't the main one with Josh Christopher. It was the other one. He was getting took like these. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You just gotta watch the vid. If you watch the vid, you know what I'm talking about. My video. But yeah, he was in the middle. Getting took like these. While Jalen was one end and the Namari dude was on the other. Like I said, they don't talk about that because they don't care. Other than Jalen Green. Good shot. Good shot. One. Shoot the ball, gamble a little bit. Okay, it's okay to to use the clock if you get a foul or you get a bucket out of it in the late clock. That's the bucket. They did the right thing. They got a team, they got together, they got some guys to understand some things, got into a nice rhythm. Move, pop it. Pop. Good shot. Excuse me, good shot. Good steals. Good Oh, yes, over here. If they making shots like this. If they making shots like this, yeah, you lost. I ain't gonna lie. That's a tough shot. They don't play well when the ball sticks, but they've really been sharing the rock. Cornery with the jam. Kobe Johnson for three. Mm. Just, oh, 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 you the missed it. To the rack. You get their first Pac-12. Y'all got smacked by 16? Y'all six and six? Well, six and seven? Oh, and two in league? Oh, yeah. I don't see them. La I don't see them lasting in March Madness if they even make it. They six and seven overall, oh, and two in conference? Win of the season in the infancy of the Pac 12 slate. 86 70 the final here at Joe Coliseum. 
No. No, no, man. This is looking crazy right now for USC men. The women's is doing better than that. Anyways, that's the end of this video. See you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You subscribe, really appreciate it. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.